Introducing the pillar boat. So what is a pillar boat anyway? Well, a pillar boat is a boat that's supported on what looks like a bunch of pillars. You start with a sealed vertical cylinder. You add a weight at the bottom to make it float upright. And then you add a gimbal mechanism on the top. One of these is not very useful by itself, but you collect them together into clusters of three, four, five, or more. The gimbal fitting at the top of each buoy in the cluster is attached to a large swivel fitting that is called a footing. In each cluster, one buoy is identified as the lead buoy and fitted with a thruster pack. This completes the spar buoy cluster, which is the foundation of the larger platform. More buoy clusters are added and you need at least three of them to support a stable platform. The platform on top can be of any shape having a downward leg to the top of each footing. And if the buoys are properly tuned to the ambient waves, the platform above will not rock. The lead buoy in each cluster is fitted with a steering actuator, which turns the entire buoy, including the thruster pack. This allows each individual cluster to be rotated to any direction and driven in any direction. Each thruster pack has a swiveling exhaust duct, which can be used to direct the thrust for times when the buoy is vertical or when the buoy is in retracted mode. The buoys supporting a large platform may extend hundreds of feet below the water level, which makes it impractical to bring the platform in and out of port. To accommodate this, a buoy retraction mechanism has been developed. The ballast, which normally holds the buoy floating upright, is pivoted by hydraulic cylinder on a long arm. This causes the buoy itself to rotate into a horizontal floating orientation. The complete vessel is equipped with a computer controlled navigation system which controls the orientation and the direction of all of the buoys and the clusters. Shown here is a vision for a medium to large vessel capable of navigating large seas and lakes. Turning this vision into a reality is the purpose of this campaign, and you can see we're well on our way by watching the following small-scale development videos. Alright, the 2-inch prototype float begins with 19 inches of 2-inch diameter PVC pipe with a cap on each end, and then various fittings and linkages that I printed on a 3D printer. Here's a gimbal system for the top, here's the fitting for the bottom, and there are the linkages. Now, here's one that I've prepared earlier that's assembled. I'm going to set it down there. And you see the syringe becomes the hydraulic cylinder, and that operates the linkage, it makes it extend and retract and that will swing the ballast so that the, the um, float can be floated either horizontally or vertically. Okay here's the motion test using the larger cylinder and we begin also opens, but I need both hands to do it. This is the test, uh, tilt test of the um, transitioning spar buoy for the pillar boat. And this is a 2 inch PVC model with 3D printed parts and articulated ballast. And I have a little actuation system that will um, move those weights between the two positions. So I'm going to go ahead and float it, and with the weights down vertical, it floats in the uh, vertical mode. So now as I transition the weights, the ballast shifts and the tube becomes horizontal. And in practice there would actually be a little load on the float so it would float like this. And then when you're back into deep water again, 
all you do is you lower the weights back down and you can transition your buoy back to vertical. And you can do this as many times as you need to coming into port or out of port anytime you deploy the vessel. Okay, this is a five cluster of spar buoys and they're each gimbaled at the top so they're free to move. See if I shake this around there, totally free movement so that as they float they support the center evenly and as waves come by it hardly rocks as the uh, floats rise up and down. Okay we're ready for a transition test of a five pod. You can see the whole thing now. We have a clear test tank so the weights transition. It levels off for shallow water. You get to deep water and transition them back. And it's all very gentle on the central core. You would hardly even notice it if you're riding on it, but it was transitioning. So there it is, all three at once. And retracting. Yeah. What you're looking at is the prototype scale model of the pillar boat. This is a five by three model, which means it has five floats on three clusters. Each of the floats is a um, spar buoy with an articulated ballast. See them down there and all the uh, tubing is the plumbing. On this model I'm using 50 millimeter syringes, milliliter syringes to um, power it. It's got a top which still has a SpaceX logo because that's who I think could really use this. And the glass of water which will be sitting on top during the wave tests. All the parts, um, the gimbal parts and the linkages were 3D printed as well as the legs of the landing pad. So that's what it looks like out of the water. So now we're going to see some tests with it in the water. Hello, we're at Kayak Point in Kita Sound to test the scale model of the pillar boat out in actual wave conditions. Now the conditions here will actually be generating waves bigger than it's designed to take. That's okay, you can see how it handles it. And the um, actual models will be much bigger, up to 300 times bigger than this one. So you can see, as the waves come by, it rocks a little bit, but the glass is not really getting jostled around at all.